hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this video is part of our tutorial series on uh, c++ interview questions uh, in previous video we have saw some uh, question and uh, examples of uh, basic and uh, complicated c++ concepts uh, now in this video we will see the difference between an array and list uh, now array and list are both type of uh, data structure in c++ but they have some similarities and difference we will discuss them one by one uh, now first of all we will see arrays arrays are contiguous memory location of homogeneous data type stored in fixed location or size now what's that mean uh, mean uh, in memory uh, the cells of array are contiguous mean first we have uh, uh, location of uh, first element of array and uh, uh, followed by another uh, uh, element of the same array so uh, all are in sequence in the uh, uh, in our storage uh, uh, chip uh, while uh, all of the element uh, uh, available inside the array have same data type mean if you want to make an array of integer then all the element inside of that array will be of integer type you cannot add a string type or an character type array inside this array because when we define the array we define it as integer type array now on the other hand list are classic individual elements that are linked or connected to each other with the help of pointer and they do not have fixed size and they are also not contiguous inside the memory array are static in nature while uh, list are dynamic in nature mean they can be on anywhere inside the memory uses less memory than linked list uses more memory at it has to store the value and the pointer of the memory location of the next node now we will uh, these uh, was some basic definition of arrays and list and their differences now we will uh, discuss them in detail array store the element in contiguous memory location resulting an easy calculatable address for the element stored and it allow the faster access to the element at the specific index while linked list are list rigid in their storage structure and element are <coughs> usually not stored in contiguous memory location hence they need to be stored with additional tag given a reference to the next element the difference is the data storage scheme decide which data structure would be more suitable for a given situation for example here we have an array of length 9 and uh, it has index start from 0 and uh, goes so on to 8 these are known as array indices or array indexes so the length of this array is 9 uh, first index is 0 and last index is 8 now we will see uh, data storage scheme of an array so the uh, uh, first uh, uh, so we have seen the data scheme of array now we will see the uh, linked list representation So in case of linked list we have nodes, uh, nodes consist of uh, uh, two elements, first one is the value and second one is the address, uh, this is the address. Of the next element or next node. Uh, major differences between arrays and linked list first one is size since the data can only be stored in contiguous block of memory in an array so its size cannot be altered size cannot be altered at runtime due to risk of overwriting other data however in linked list each node point to the next node 
the next one such as the data can exist at scattered not contiguous address this allows for dynamic size that can change at runtime uh, the next major difference is memory allocation for arrays at compile time and run time for linked list uh, for arrays at compile time and at run time for linked list but at dynamic memory allocation arrays also allocate memory at run time uh, memory efficiency the most important thing in any in any programming language is memory efficiency for some number of element like linked list uses more memory as a reference to the next node uh, is also stored along with the data however size flexibility in linked list may make them use less memory overall this is useful when there is uncertainty about size or there are large variation in size of data element so when uh, we should go for uh, array list and when we should go for linked list depend on our need if we know that we have certain amount of element that we want to store in any data structure in c++ then we will go for array because it take less memory and uh, element are easily accessible on the other hand when we are not sure whether how many element we are gonna store in this data structure then link list our option because uh, it is uh, dynamically allocated memory so we can allocate any uh, amount of element uh, or uh, add any other node at any given time so we don't have to define the number of element uh, at the time when we are defining the link list memory equivalent to the upper limit on the size has to be allocated even if not all of it is being used while using arrays so this is the drawback of array uh, whereas linked list ha can increase their size step by step proportionally to the amount of data that we want to store next major difference is execution time any ma any element in an array can be directly accessed, uh, accessed with its index number uh, for example if we want to access this 97 uh, uh, value of element from this array we can easily access this by its index number uh, while in uh, linked list that's not the case we have to uh, go through every node to find our uh, uh, desired element or value However, in case of linked list, all the previous element must be uh, traversed to reach any element. So that's why it take lot of time to find a given data from a linked list as compared to array. Also, better cache locality in arrays due to contiguous memory allocation. Uh, better cache locality can significantly improve the performance as a result some operations such as modify certain element are faster in array while other uh, such as inserting deleting an element in the data are faster in linked list uh, next major difference is insertion In an array insertion operation take more time but in linked list these operations are fast. For example if we want to insert an element in an array at the end position in the array the array is full then we copy the array into an other array then we add an element where the linked list is full then we find at least the last node and make the next node to the new node. Uh, now comes the dependencies in array values are independent of each other but in case of linked list nodes are dependent on each other one node is dependent on its previous node and that previous node is dependent on its previous node so uh, line goes on so if previous node is lost then we can find its next substantial node array store in contiguous 
linked lists are stored in contiguous locations are not stored in contiguous arrays are fixed in size while on the other hand uh, linked list are dynamic in size memory allocation at compile time that that now that's very important question regarding your interview uh, the interview can ask uh, at what times uh, c++ compile or allocate the uh, memory of array and linked list so memory in case of array are allocated at compile time uh, while on the other hand memory in case of linked list are allocated at runtime so this is very important question uh, now array uses less memory than linked list uses more memory because it stored both data and the address of next node element can be assessed easily in case of array while on the other hand element element accessing require the traversal of whole linked list insertion and delete uh, deletion operation takes time so that's a drawback while in case of linked list insertion and deletion operation are fast advantages of linked list the size of uh, array is fixed so we must know the upper limit on number of element in advance so that's a drawback also generally the allocate memory is equal to the upper limit respective of usage and the particular uses the upper limit rarely reached so we have lot of unused memory but it is allocated by the array so we can't either use it or utilize it because we have defined this while we were defining our array inserting a new element in array of element is expensive because a room has to be created for the new element and to create a room existing element have to shift for example suppose we maintain a sorted list of ids in an array having ids like 1000 1010 1015 and so on and if we want to insert a new id Uh, let's say one double zero five. Then to maintain the sorted order, we have to move all the element first to the right. Then we uh, put this, and then we shift this, and that's a very expensive uh, uh, task in term of uh, memory utilization and CPU utilization. This deletion is also expensive with arrays unless some special techniques are used. For example, to delete one ten in ID. Uh, so ten ten in ID, everything after ten ten has to be moved to the left side to fill that uh, empty index. So linked list provide uh, two advantages over array. Dynamic in size mean we can uh, add uh, as many uh, nodes or element uh, we want without uh, 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 without uh, defining the size at the time of uh, at the time of declaration of the linked list. easy insertion and deletion now disadvantage of linked list random access is not allowed in case of array we can randomly access any uh, element uh, by its index number but in case of linked list we have to access element sequentially starting from first node and uh, going on to the linked list until we find the uh, our desired element so we can not do binary search with linked list extra memory space for pointer extra memory space of pointer is required for each element of the linked list arrays have a better cache locality that can make a pretty big differences in performance it only takes a lot of time in traversing and changing the pointers it will be confusing when we work with pointer yeah pointer can sometimes be very complicated advantages of array array stored multiple data of similar types with the same name it allow random access to element uh, as the array is of fixed size stored contiguously location there is no memory storage or overflow memory shortage or overflow sorry it is helpful to store any type of data with a fixed size yes since the element in the array are stored at contiguous memory location it is easy to iterate 
in this data structure and unit time is required to access an element of that index is known. Now here come the uh, disadvantages of array. The array is static in nature. Uh, or once the size of array is declared then we cannot modify it. Uh, next we have insertion and deletion operation are difficult. Uh, number of elements that have to be stored in an array should be known in advance. That's a major drawback. Wastage of memory in main is the main problem for it because if the array size is big, the then the uh, less allocation of memory lead to memory wastage. So that's all from today's tutorial. In next video, we will uh, discuss another question regarding C++ interview question series. Till then, take care and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.